Did you think this day would never come? That because Francois de la Serre had no son, I... that your crime would go unanswered? Revenge, is it? Your vision is as narrow as your father's. You want to talk? How wide a vision was your grab for power? Power? No, 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 no. You're smarter than that. This was never about power. It's always been about control. Do you think yourself safe in your shadows? Here you are! Did your father teach you nothing? The Order has grown complacent. So obsessed with clinging to the trappings of... I so obsessed. So obsessed with clinging to the trappings of power, we abandoned our purpose. You cannot hide from me, boy. Crafted to shepherd them. Caught in the very lie we crafted to shepherd the masses. I'll kill you! Have you heard nothing I say? My design is larger than my own life. I will fight! Free. I can take him. No, you can't. Not alone. Wait for me. I'm sorry. Elise! Bravo. You've slain the villain. That is how you cast this little morality play in your mind, isn't it? Oh, I'm not really here. I'm not really there either. At the moment, I'm bleeding out in the floor of the temple. But it seems the father of understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. Ah. A particular favorite of mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. Great towers of gold, cities, shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. Then I found this place. Dr. Molay's vault. 
Through his writings, I understood. Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Molay. And that I'd been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot. And to wash the world clean. And restore to the truth the father of understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. Prophets are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exile in the basement forced me to reevaluate my strategy, find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. A new order never comes without destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. Here's we part ways here. Think on this. The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. Think on this when you remember her.